Hi, all you cool cats and kittens. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to your weekly announcements. We have just completed week five of virtual learning. Can you believe it? I sure can't. Lots of things happened this week. We celebrated Earth Day and we also celebrate Secretary's Day. And again, I'd like to give a huge thank you to our super secretaries, Mrs. Blevins and to Mrs. Gonzalez for all that they do. I hope you learned a lot this week. I sure did. You can find information on our upcoming Virtual Spirit Week, as well as our new upcoming event, our Virtual International Festival, at our school Instagram, which is at Washington School NJ, or you can find it at my Google Classroom, which is at XDSPSFJ, or you can also email me at safaye, which is S-A-F-A-Y-E-E -E at carneyschools.com if you want more information or if you just plain want to chat me up because I'd love to hear from you. Now I want to talk a little bit about our international festival. We're going to be hosting that on Friday, May 1st. And can you believe it's going to be May? I can't believe it. Please send a short video that's two minutes or less stating your name and where you're from. Please have entries into me no later than this upcoming Wednesday, April 29th. Suggested things to talk about in your video are special customs and or holidays that you celebrate, traditional clothing, which means please wear that if you have it, <laughs> cultural dances, music that originates from your country, tell us fun facts, tell us something in your native language, and also please include what it means in English because we'd love to know what that means. Also, most importantly, just be creative because that's the best part of it. So I can't wait to see those entries coming in for that. Now on to our virtual spirit week. Monday is crazy hair Monday. Show us your coolest and most creative hairstyles and bonus points if you snap a picture doing an assignment from one of your specials, such as music, art, Spanish, or gym. On Tuesday is Taurus Tuesday. Please share one of your favorite photos from one of your past vacations. We'd love to see that. And on Wednesday, we're gonna have Wellness Wednesday. Take a picture in your best workout attire or snap a picture of you eating some healthy food. Bonus points if you send a video doing an exercise. And on Thursday, we're gonna celebrate what are you reading Thursday? We could also, we all can use some good book recommendations. So please share what you're currently reading and it might inspire someone else to read it as well. And on Friday, we're gonna have Fran Friday. What's your favorite sport or team? Sport that gear and show it off on Friday. Now we're gonna get to some birthday shout outs. Don't forget that you could also send me your birthday shout outs either through my email or to our, uh, to DM us at our Instagram so you can have your own story feature for your birthday. So on this past Monday, April 20th, Alex Persico Filo from Miss O'Grady's class celebrated a birthday. On April 22nd, Victoria De Silva from Miss McColl's class, as well as Ian Ortiz and Iman Zara from Miss Frankino's class celebrated a birthday. And they happened to celebrate a birthday with me. And I want to just give a huge thank you to those that invited me to their Zoom meetings and to the students and staff that sent me pictures and sent me lots of love that day. I really appreciated it. And it was one of my best birthdays to date. On Thursday, April 23rd, Mr. Julian Mejia from kindergarten from Miss Stanley's class had a birthday. And Friday, the super twins, Mason and Michaela Moore from Miss Stanley's class are celebrating a birthday. This Saturday, Andres Guanga from third grade from Mrs. O'Grady's class is having a birthday. And this upcoming Sunday, Esmeralda Dominguez Cruz from Mr. Bowers class will be having a birthday. And I hope everyone had a wonderful birthday this week and the upcoming ones that are coming this weekend. Now on to some staff shout outs and to some student shout outs, which is my personal favorite part of our videos. And our first one comes from Miss Tiffany, Miss Biddle, and Miss Tammy who work with Miss Hornung. And they wanted to give Miss Hornung a special shout out for all that she does. Ms. Hornung has found a way to connect personally with all of her students while we've been away. And she makes it so that they be all still be together, even though we're far apart. They want to let her know that they miss her and they can't wait to go back to school and be together once again. What a wonderful message. And I would totally agree that Ms. Hornung is really doing a great job as well. Mrs. Marie Gliani from third grade wanted to give a shout out to room 301 for constantly making her laugh, especially when they video chat together. They put the biggest smile on her face and she's so grateful for them. Mrs. Garonsky Smith from pre-K went on to give a shout out to our very own Nurse Hotch as she joined them this week to go over best health practices when it comes to sneezing, coughing, and washing their hands. Our youngest learners enjoyed interacting with Nurse Hotch and asking her questions and they just loved seeing her. Mrs. De Silva from pre-K wanted to give a shout out to all of her students and to her parents for working so hard during this remote learning experience. 
It is very hard for pre-K, but we have been doing everything we can to stay connected, to keep our community strong, and to keep learning every day. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to one of our custodians, Mr. Chu, for really helping me out today because I needed to go to school to get some things for our sixth grade yearbook and he was able to help me out with that. And I'm sure the sixth graders would also be appreciative of that as well. Now onto some Friday funnies. Our first one comes from Mia Moreno from fourth grade from Miss McColl's class. And her Friday funny is, why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> Good job, girl. <laughs> Next one comes from Ava Beatty in third grade from Miss Marigliani's class. Why did the boy eat his homework? Because the teacher said it was a piece of cake. Mm, yum. Thank you, Ava, for allowing me some cake. <laughs> Our next one comes from Ashley Moreno from fourth grade from Miss Ricka's class. And her Friday funny is, what's the best song to sing when preparing a turkey? All about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm a singer now. <laughs> and our last one comes from our pre K teacher, Miss Garonsky Smith. And her first Friday funny is why did the cookie go to the nurse? Because it was feeling crummy. Aww. And her next one is what did the paper say to the pencil? You have a good point. <laughs> that it does. Thank you for those who submitted Friday funnies. I always appreciate that. And that's all the announcements for this week. As always, don't forget that I love you, your teachers love you, and Washington School loves you.